Let's take a look at a Z-Cli transistor configuration or a compound NPNPNP transistor. Now, we're familiar with the Darlington, where it has, in this case, I have, it's a PNP. We have two PNP transistors in there, and they're connected like this. And to calculate the gain, you take the gain of, you know, Q1 times the gain of Q2, and if they both happen to be 100, that means we take 100 squared, and that's 10,000. So you can see how, how much gain these would have. Now, this Z-Clyke transistor configuration is hooked up just like a PNP, and this was a PN, but on this one here, it's got a, this is a PNP, and this is going to be an NPN transistor here, okay? Now, on this case, if uh, this one, the base goes high here on the NPN, it pulls the base on the PNP low, and it turns, it turns on, and so we have a collector emitter and a base here that acts like a single transistor with a lot of gain on it. Same gain as on the Darlington. Now the advantage of this is that the Darlington, you have two diode drops to deal with. So it's, you know, 1.2 or 1.4 volt drop. In this case, we only have one, uh, one diode drop. So it's only 0.6 or 0.7 volts drops on here. So this will, uh, the base can be a lot lower here. You can have a lot less uh, current on there. And in the uh, PNP type, we have a, uh, this one here is a PNP, and this is the NPN over here. And if the base on the PNP goes low, then uh, that'll bring the, uh, the, uh, the base on the NPN high through here, and uh, it'll turn this on this way. And this will be the emitter collector and the base over here. Now, a compound uh, NPN or PNP is hooked up the same way, except we take the load and we put the load right in this area here. So it's, it's right here. And you could just have a resistor here and your output on here if you want to, you know, drive a speaker or something. And in, in the uh, PNP style here, this is a PNP and an NPN over here. And the load is up, up here. It would be up in, in this, this area right here. So they work the same way, same gain, and still one uh, diode drop on these here. So what I did is I, I put two of them together here. I try in each, each way. And uh, I have a 2N222 and a, a PN2907. Uh, this is a PNP transistor here. And I have one hooked up with this uh, z cli if I'm saying that right, configuration. And one is the uh, compound uh, NPN PNP. So the only difference is this has the uh, load down here. And the other one's going to have the load right up in that area right there. So now uh, on mine, I, I, uh, I didn't use a, any resistor at all. This happens to be 330 ohms, but I'm only putting three volts on the, uh, on the unit here. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm using this, uh, an LED for a photo cell and uh, they're not very efficient and it doesn't put out much current, but since our gain is so high, we're going to see if we have enough current coming through this, uh, this LED to actually uh, turn this unit on and light this LED up, you know. We want to get, uh, you know, 15, 20 milliamps over here. And on here, it's it's so low that my meter won't read it. So, and on this way, the same way, we're used to using the LED as a photo cell. And we're going to try to drive the, uh, the base of these on to turn on my uh, LED here. So, I made up the unit here. I'll turn this on. And... Uh, you can see with just the light that I have here, these are, I don't know if you can see it on or not, they're just glowing a little bit. But if I uh, put a flashlight on them, then it glows, and this one glows here. So uh, just, I'm just using these as a, uh, as a photo cell here. So very little current and huge amount of gain on there, and uh, one, one diode drop. So. They, they work out good. So uh, good little uh, circuit. And, uh, you know, that's that's it. That's the, uh, the Z-Cli transistor configuration or a compound NPN, PNP. I hope I'm saying the, the Z-Cli the right way. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's how it works. Thank you.